The Toledo Walleye opening night is happening this weekend, and joining me right now is Taylor Vanderbrook with the Toledo Walleye. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for having us. We're excited. So give me an idea of all that's going to be happening to kick off this opening night. Yeah, so we are bringing back our black party out front, um, having a great big party for all of our fanatics and sponsors that make us what we are here. Um, a lot of good things. We'll have our trophies that we won last season out for show, get some pictures, a little recognition for those uh, those wins that we had last season. So a lot of fun stuff happening. Yes, and Toledo gets excited for hockey. I mean, this is T-Town hockey. It's, it's, it's not a joke. It's the real thing. <laughs> and a lot of people are going to be coming out. You guys are going to have a block party. Tell me what that's going to entail. So we're going to have, it's going to look like uh, about 8,000 people here, sellout crowd, I'm hoping, fingers crossed. Um, the block party is just going to be a lot of fun, some live music out there, and just everyone getting excited for the game to start at 715. And are there going to be any things that people aren't going to be expecting, any new things that they should, they're going to be surprised by? Hmm, we have some new promos in the books that we're very excited to debut this year. Just trying to change things up and keep everything fresh and new. Give me an idea of what some of the merchandise people can get here. So we have a lot of good things in here, a lot of new t-shirts, a lot of sweatshirts, and we do have some old memorabilia in terms of our old gold diggers, Storm, a lot of good things going on here. And with memorabilia, you can take a walk down memory lane. So we're going to take a walk ourselves. Yeah. What is here that people can get that's new this year? They're going to probably enjoy for some of the games. So along this wall here, we have all of these brand new t-shirts that we're really excited about. Um, some of the classic players got some brand new t-shirts down here as well. Lots of new hats in stock. Those were a big hit. Um, one of our newest things we have this year is a lot of camel gear. So if you're interested in camel gear, we have quite a bit. Definitely, and for sure for me, who is someone who got a shirt here a few years ago, pre-COVID, that wasn't a concern. I myself am going to have to get a new year, get new gear this year. So what are some of your top recommendations? Oh, the sweatshirts always. <laughs> I love the sweatshirts. They are the comfiest things. You always have to wear it. It's cold in that hockey rink. So Definitely. a sweatshirt to keep you warm. And the beanies are very cute, too. Add a nice little touch to your outfit. <laughs> and I think we should take a look at that to show people that there's a lot of beanies that are here. There's a wall of beanies and I think that we need to make that a fee official name. Oh, absolutely. The wall of beanies. <laughs> I love it. We have them lining the whole store and in this whole corner over here completely stocked. <laughs> so there's plenty of stuff and how long have you guys been preparing for this? Oh months since walleye season or <laughs> last walleye season ended and into wow. hen season. We have been ordering. We're still waiting on more shipments of stuff. So there's always going to be something good in here for everybody. I bet. So come on down to the swamp shop and what are you guys' hours? Uh, we are open 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. on non-game days, and then game days we open uh, just when the gates open. There you have it. So make sure to stop by, get your walleye gear to cheer on the team. Reporting in Toledo, I'm Jaden Jefferson.